Hello, Mr. DeRosiers. Firstly, thank you for your patience. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it sincerely. Today is the day. Today's your day. All right. The fantabulous notch resist. The watch that all those dudes so long ago said didn't exist. The notch resist. This was the American version of the 6139-6000 proof that had a notch case. In America, truth and advertising laws didn't allow that to happen, so they had to go from proof to resist. So front and back, it says resist. For a long time, people said it didn't exist until I found the ad. I'm still proud of that. My first, my first real find, my first real mark. Let's see what we got. Actually, hang on. I need a better seat. Definitely, it's got an A bridge and an A main plate, so it's an A. Somebody working on it put in the wrong screw. That's not for that plate. I will go and replace that. I don't even know. Let's check her out. Wrong one. Try it again. Uh, mainspring is definitely gummy. It's a runner, sort of. That's mm, a little wiggly. I swear, one of these days, I'm going to get better lights. So it runs, but it's not real happy about it. I got an even better idea. Mm. It's trying. It wants to. There we go. The biggest thing we're doing is sixty-one thirty-nine. These bridge screws gotta keep them separate because they have a they have a smaller. Um, they have a smaller shaft thread, so you can put them into the, into other places in the watch, but there's no other screw in this watch that will go there. Look at that, it's dry as bone. No lubrication at all. Hmm.
definitely wants to run. That's a good thing. It really takes something major to make a Seiko not run. Dog must have seen a butterfly. <clears throat> Ducky, gross. Yep, look at that. Your original flattened seals. I'll cut those off in just a second. Same, flattened seals. Old flattened seals. Good stuff. Uh-oh, must be two butterflies. He must be menacing him. He really, honestly, he hates flying insects. They freak him out. Even like, you know, fruit flies or something. Can't take it. Wow, look at how, wow, look at how gummed up that is. That's an aftermarket replacement crown too, so I will put in a correct one. This is one of those br brass plated ones made by like Best Fit or something. Let me get a moving hold. Okay. I am doing a quick clean on the buttons and the stem. Don't mind Sabrina, she's working on a birdhouse. Definitely not a Seiko crystal. Deep double dome. Hmm, I wonder what this was for. Crazy. Then, dirty, but fine. Same. Yeah, it's an early one. That's the correct early ring the teeth on the outside. I'll clean this up best as I can. I'll also replace this missing pip. It's not actually that faded. It's just that the printing's light. I'll clean it up. Spring bar is even the same size. It's just dirty. A little bit of corrosion pitting here. I'll have to dig this stuff out. I have to manually, because when you have stuff like this, you get this impacted dirt. It can hold water under there and actually pit stainless steel. So I'll have to be get, I'll have to get some of that out of there. Maybe little things down there. I'll clean it up and see what we see. I wouldn't worry too over much about it. Okay. I already told him, honey, that you're building a birdhouse. Oh, well, I can't get this bamboo stick out. Sorry. 
I tried using the, the hammer and the pointy thing, and I think that made it worse. Uh, here, hold this. Okay. <coughs> you might have to just drill it out. Okay. Cut it off and drill it out. Sorry. I don't know how I, I did that with my hands, so I'm sorry that we can't get it out. Okay, let me just get rid of the rest of this stuff. Rocket, there's 100% nothing going on. Okay. There we go. All nice and sparkly for the time being. Oh, I see. The stem is... Okay, so the release lever is... Okay, I get it. Hang on a second, please. Freaking grain stench all in here. Okay. So, yeah, you. it's one of these things people... I remember these used to happen. People would freak out. So the stem release is pushed up. So you can take the stem and go like that. You go, you turn up at an angle like this and you push in and it will reset. It will reset the, put, it'll put, usually it'll put that right back. That's an old trick. I don't think many people know. Hands a little, hands a little bent down. Whoever set these hands, it's not quite correct. Loom is good. A little darkened down. You got some pepper, like scrape marks or something here, 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 over here. I'll see what they are. Your sweep is off by just a hair. I uh, should be able to deal with that. Let me get the hands it off. Stuff on. There's your movement. There's your dial. You can see those little pin pricks right there. I'll look at them, see what they are. The watch is March 1970. And if we look right uh, there, 03, it's March 1970. So we got us a matching watch. That's always nice. Don't you think that's nice? I think that's nice. Oh, anyway, so those winding bridge screws that have the th have the thinner shaft, what often happens is people will people will put all this stuff in one pot, and then they don't realize that the thinner shaft ones are not for this piece right here. So they go ahead and use them, and they're like, "Wait a minute, my screws are not working for the." Winding bridge. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, framework for oscillating something or other. It's the least intuitive name I've ever seen. Faces look square, no channels dug through. Yeah, definitely, definitely the wrong crown. Well, I mean, not like there was any doubt, but. Oop, that one was loose. And of course this one is wrong. We are gonna get rid of that and place it with the correct one. Get out. Out. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's not even Seiko. Hmm. Good looking chronograph bridge. 
note right here, this is the, the bushing for the upper pinion for the minute counting wheel right here. When these get reset, it this hammer comes bunk and it pushes this thing bunk, 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 bunk like that, which usually will push this back up. It sort of ovals out this hole. Um, that one looks perfect. Really nice. Let's test that wheel. This is the actual Seiko method for testing this the resistance of this wheel. Okay, it's a little gummed up. That thing is supposed to turn easily with this because if this thing binds up, then you are in trouble. I mean, it's easy to deal with. You just have to destake it, restake it. Or There's a bunch of different ways to deal with it. About my bonking. Oh, I'm sure they're fine, honey. Then counter wheel. Old school short hammer spring. Here's your hammer. So when you push the button, it goes click, click, like that. Click, boom. Operating lever spring. Honey, huh? you'll be relieved to know that the dial on this watch is dated to the case back, so it's original. Ooh. Isn't that exciting? Very. Nice to see. Mm, that's kind of gross. No, it's just some surface grease. Nothing special. Coupling lever, or operating lever, coupling lever. It's the thing that makes the clutch go in. Why don't you call them the clutch arms? There we go. Why don't we call them the clutch arms? Because they behave just like a clutch. They come in and they separate the thrust plate. And the next thing you know, baby, you got a stew going. Oh, yeah, that one's loose. That one's loose. That one was loose. I wish I understood what his thought process was. What, the dog? Yeah. Okay. In, out, in, well, out. I'm his favorite person right now. So he's following me. Well, he only really needs me first thing in the morning when he's feeling unsure. I mean, all told, I mean, it, it looks pretty clean. Honey, you just need to take them with you. There's all the oil I was expecting. So I'm going to have to hand clean all this stuff because it's got this blurk of oil. Somebody just oiled the hell out of it. So I'm going to have to hand clean all that stuff. Okay, it looks like the clutch on your wheel is holding. That is great news. I'll clean it and I'm going to check it again. 
and it looks straight and clean. Yep, gonna have to hang and clean that. Yeah, look at that. It's original. I don't think this thing had a lot of miles on it. There's that old S2 in there. Yucky gross. Yeah, man, I could feel that higher tension spring. Well, I've been working with three-handers, so I'm not used to dealing with a chrono spring. Ooh. Well, I mean, of course I'm used to it. I just don't do it as much. Yeah, looks okay. Let me clean it and see how we do. Seiko, they specified that these main springs don't need to be replaced. So I pretty much, I never do. I clean them, obviously. I make sure they're straight and flat, obviously, but I don't think we need to do much more than that. I'm gonna have to hand clean these things. Get the old S2 off of there. Here's another trick. The bottom, the flipping these things dial up, it's hard to get them to sit in a movement holder. So I use the movement ring and that holds them very nicely. I always figure that the, you know, the stuff that came with the watch is what you need to, it's the best design thing to protect it. Yeah, I really don't think this was a high numbers piece. I mean, in the sense of, uh, I don't think it was, I don't think it got a lot of wrist time. And if it did, it wasn't very hard. Come on, get out of there. I'll deal with you in a minute. Mm -hmm. A little oily, nothing special. It's a little flexed up, I'll have to deal with that. We gotta flatten that one out. Hey, look at that, we're missing a screw. Look at that, huh? That's funky, the dude must have been like, crap, I lost a screw. And he just said, oh well. More oil. Decoringer correcting finger looks nice and uh, flat. Minute wheel bridge, that looks okay, actually. Okay, 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 fine.
day date corrector. Your, hmm, your plastic day date corrector. It's the one in the middle. As it goes around, it gets, this side gets pushed back. And you, this is, well, you can't see, but I can. This one is, it's open too far. It's been pushed back. Uh, I'll probably want to replace that because I have them. And uh, the, it's not that you can really put those back. The material doesn't remember where it was. Yeah, look at this. I mean, it's all pretty clean. Why did the dude put a ton of oil in there? Huh. In the wrong places. Hey, they assembled that correctly. Gears the right way up. Good news, everybody. Yeah, early enough that all the calendar, except for that one piece, is metal. I will look at that after we are done ripping it apart. So far, I don't see anything deadly. I'm only going to look at the center wheel, but I mean, darn it. This thing just uh, doesn't have a lot of hours on it. But if it was run without proper lubrication, because I don't see any lubrication really inside the movement except for places where it shouldn't be, we will see. Yeah, that looks good there. That's the pin right there that you worry about because that interacts with the stem. And if those get really worn, then uh, you can't, uh, it'll just pull out if you're not careful. Yeah. And there it is. There is our stripped main plate. These springs and things, I don't take those off. They're fine. I don't. There's, there's, unless the, the movement was really fouled with something gross, those don't need to come out because they're open and they'll clean underneath. Yeah, it's dirty, but not that bad. Um, I'm going to do Jules' uh, top and bottom on the mainspring arbor because, really, honestly, there's no excuse not to. Yeah, we got some, look at that, we got some circle stuff over there. It's nowhere, though, right? Whatever. I'm going to put them in because this is just going to keep wearing. There's no way to stop it. Okay, I'm going to hand clean all this stuff, and then I'm going to clean all this stuff, and then when I come back... We'll look at the clean parts and then I'll assemble off screen and then come back again and show you how I did. So I'm going to hand clean, assemble, get ready to go, and uh, we're going to go. Okay. Okay, so here we are in all of its glory. There, right there shiny red thing right there. That is your lower mainspring arbor port, your new one. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? You can see that. Doesn't that look pretty, huh? Look at that beautiful lower mainspring arbor jewel. That is what I'm talking about. And in your train bridge, if I can 
and persuade it to leave. There you are. There's your upper mainspring arbor jewel. Yeah, look at everything. It's so nice and clean. Isn't that awesome? Whoops. Hey, look, it went right back where it was supposed to. Okay, it's a sign. I'm going to start working on it. So, there she blows. Let's see if I can get this. So, you can see what I did. See? Isn't that pretty? That's excellent. Even by Swiss standards, that's fantastic. Woo, baby. There we go. So the previous, whoever did the work on this uh, previously, they kind of bodged it up some. So there were some things I had to do to kind of make it better. Nothing major. Um, there was like there was glue on the inside of the of this uh, of your indicator ring. I don't know why it didn't need to be there. There was nothing to it. So I had to clean that off by hand. Get the surface smooth. I reloomed your pip. Your main sweep, your red main sweep was just dead. They said it wrong, and then um, they said it wrong, and then they tried to try to, and it was still moving, and they tried to make it so that it wasn't turning on the on its hand tube, and they couldn't do that, and so it was just gonna fall apart. So, since this is the deep red for the gold dial, I said, well, if I'm going to have to replace it, might as well put in a correct tomato red. And that's what it would have gotten at the service center. It's a little lighter than sub-register hand, but I think it looks much better. And of course, look at that. It snaps right to zero. Exactly what we need. Insert looks lovely. Case cleaned up. We all know it's running beautifully. So it's back to life. I'm sure there's more stuff. Oh, there's your you, there's your new crown. Uh, here are the rest of the things. Your gaskets, your seal, your crown seal is in there. Here's the your aftermarket crown. They also glued the hell out of this thing. I'd use like real heat to get this glue in here to release. I thought I was going to lose the stem, but I didn't. It came off fine. There's your crown seal. The button gaskets came out uh, in pieces. Came out well. I'm happy with it. I hope you will be too. That's about it. Thank you much. I appreciate it.